Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. In this video, we will talk about three ways to update data in a JSON object, each slightly different from the others. We have a table named JSON underscore demo, and the column that holds our JSON data is named info. Looking at the data in the table, we see we have four rows. Three of these have a property named age, and one of them has a hobby of philately. Let's see what we can do to make changes to this data. First, let's talk about JSON insert. The JSON insert function will add a key to the existing JSON object. If a key with that name already exists, it will not be updated. This function takes three arguments. The first is the column that contains the JSON object we want to update. Next is the path of the key we want to add. When dealing with JSON pathing, a dollar sign always represents the root of a JSON object. Last is the value that would be set to that property. Looking at our query, we see that we want to update the info column, add a property named age to the root of the JSON object, and set that value to 51. Note, we don't have a where clause here. After executing this query, we can see that it shows four rows matched but only one row was updated. Taking a look at our data, we can see that the JSON from Tom Drake now has a property named age with a value of 51, and none of the other age properties were affected. Next, we'll take a look at JSON replace. The JSON replace function will update the value of an existing property in a JSON object. If the property does not exist, it will not be added. JSON replace takes the same three arguments as JSON insert. In this example, we want to change the info column by updating the hobby property off the JSON document root to a value of quilting. As in the last example, this query matches four rows, but only one row is changed. If we look at our data again, we can see that the hobby property for Tom Kubik was changed to quilting, and none of the other JSON objects have a property named hobby. The last function we will look at is JSON set. The JSON set function will update an existing property in a JSON object with a new value, and will add that property to JSON objects where it doesn't exist. JSON set takes the same three arguments as our last two examples. In this query, we are once again using the info column and updating the hobby property, but this time we are setting it to a value of golf. After running this query, we can see that four rows matched and four rows were changed. Looking at our data one last time, we can see that Tom Kubik's hobby was changed to golf and the hobby property with the value of golf was added to the other three JSON objects. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.